So today we're going to be talking about one of the largest investments I've ever made in a coaching course or mentorship program. And that investment was with Traffic Sales and Profit and the leader, Lamar Tyler. So I decided to make this video because when I was actually joining the program, I didn't see a ton of videos that weren't produced by the company, right? So like reviews of people that are just talking to the camera, like I'm about to talk to you and feedback on Lamar as a coach in the actual program. I had to base my decision off of the reviews that the company was putting out, right? So different testimonials that I saw during their events and on their ads, which of course were all going to be good and positive. But for some reason, I still decided to make the investment after doing a little search and not finding too much. But again, because of that lack of information out there, I was like, let me come back and make a video about this. So although I knew I wanted to make a video like this, I wanted to give it some time. So I've actually been in their program, their community for about a year now, a little over a year now. So I'm gonna break down my honest feedback about everything. So before we get into all the details, if you don't know who Lamar Tyler is, him and his wife, Ronnie Tyler, run and lead an organization, a community, whatever you wanna call it, called Traffic Sales and Profit. And it's really a community specifically for black entrepreneurs to help them continue to get resources to grow and scale their businesses. Now, one of the biggest hesitations for me was that they do help both product and service-based businesses. So at first, as a service-based business myself, I was kind of confused as to how they could help my business specifically since it felt like they were talking pretty high level about all businesses. Outside of just being a business coach, Lamar Tyler is also an author, right? And he wrote this book along with other books. Now this book, I actually saw the company running a lot of ads for, and I had seen this book, I had seen Lamar Tyler on my newsfeed, on ads and all these things for about two-ish years before I pulled the trigger. But maybe you've seen this book out there on some ads, but this was kind of like my first introduction to him. So another big thing that um, I saw that allowed me to make this decision was before he actually started teaching and helping other entrepreneurs, he was doing. And when I look for different mentors and coaches and different programs, I always look for doers because I feel like in this day and age, I won't say it's very easy, but I feel like a lot of people make a lot of money and make a lot of impact by teaching, but they haven't actually been through all the different life cycles of a business or all the different life cycles of the thing that they're actually teaching on. So it was a nice bonus when I saw that he had actually had a pretty successful business before he jumped into coaching. Also as a service-based business, as I said, his business before this was also kind of in service um, and more media and content. In that business, he also did sell some products. He sold DVDs and things like that. So as soon as I started to learn a little bit more about his background, I could clearly see why they were able to be able to serve both, both product and service-based folks. He also, him and his wife, I believe, had an agency and did funnels and automations and stuff even before all this coaching stuff. So as I, again, started to learn more about his background, I could see that they've had experience in both product and service. And honestly, I think within their programs, they're able to serve both pretty well. You'll see a lot of testimonials about people that have product-based businesses. I believe one of their largest testimonials that's around $10 million a year is a product-based company. One of their other $10 million a year companies is a more service-based company. So they are able to serve both pretty well. So let's break this all down. When I was deciding to join their program, and again, it's been around a year now, my business was actually already at the seven figure mark. And so one of the things that I was actually really seeking was community. I was telling my friends this, I was telling my parents, I was telling my partner, like, hey, on this journey of becoming a seven figure CEO and business owner, um, I'm joining a lot of different courses and gaining a lot of different knowledge, but I feel like I'm missing out on community. So I wanted to also just share that perspective with you guys because that may also influence some of my biases to the reviews that I'm about to share. Again, one of the biggest things that I was seeking was community because I know there's this um, proverb, right, that we even have inside of our company that you can go fast alone or far together. And I really believe that. Probably as just like an ex-athlete, as somebody that loves team and loves collaboration, I was missing that community of other people, of friends, of other folks that I could just text and call that have been through or are going through some of the similar things that I'm going through running a seven-figure organization. 
So fast forward to around July of 2022, I decided to make the investment into Lamar's mastermind program. So it's called the TSP mastermind. It was opened up at one of his events that he did in that summer. And I decided to join again with my particular reason being around community. I believe that investment was around somewhere between $20,000 or $22,000, something like that. And I remember when I first joined, I got into the Facebook group and everything. I did a little introduction and immediately like there was community. I believe at the time that I joined, maybe there was around 200, 250 people, maybe 300 people. I don't know, somewhere between 200 and 300 people in the private Facebook group that you get to join. And I made a little introduction post and everybody was just commenting. And it was one of my first times in my life I think that I was, I know that I was in community, um, a digital community, a virtual community, but I was in community with people that were looking, that looked like me, right? That were running and owning businesses either similar to mine or not similar to mine, but going through different uh, problems, going through team things, going through how to balance life as an entrepreneur, just like immediately saw all those things. I also logged into the portal. Um, they have like a back end portal for all their members and stuff and saw some amazing, amazing um, content. Again, I was not really seeking a lot of knowledge. Like I was like, I know a lot of things. I've been able to get to seven figures. I was just seeking community. But the content and all the knowledge um, that he shares and he brings in different guests to share and the different people in the community share, um, it just felt like a curtain was pulled back immediately um, to business and business is how I knew it. And I just remember even telling my partner, like, oh, dang, like I'm not the only one out there going through this. Right. Um, I ended up speaking at one of their events and one of their retreats, which is a huge testament to how especially Lamar runs his organization. Right. He always says this, like whatever you need is in the room. And I remember I wasn't too active in the Facebook group, but I remember them reaching out to me like, hey, Casey, would you mind like, you know, speaking at one of our events and running a, a workshop? And so I went out to Atlanta and did the workshop. It was amazing. It was my first time actually in person with the community. And I just remember texting my mom. I was texting my partner like, this is amazing. Like it felt like a homecoming or something. I went to a PWI, but it felt like what I would feel is like an HBCU homecoming. Everybody was just collabing and pulling out their laptops and helping each other and taking photos and just good vibes and good energy, right? But I learned about their next up uh, kind of like group, which is called the Collaborative. Now, the TSP Collaborative is for seven-figure entrepreneurs or seven-figure business owners, helping them get to eight, nine, and beyond, right? Um, I believe the mastermind is helping folks um, hit their first or uh, sustain or build past from six figures to seven figures, and the collaborative is from seven figures and above. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's how that's structured. Um, so at that event, I learned about the collaborative, and at the time, I believe the investment for the collaborative um, was around like $50,000 and I pulled the trigger and joined that. Now, again, my caveat that I give here on the investment decisions that I make is I make decisions pretty quickly, like I said, but I knew from the time being that, again, there wasn't a lot of like folks just putting out honest reviews or a lot of people just putting out their own reviews, right? Again, I saw a lot of people in the community and a lot of people, the testimonials that they shared, but I didn't see like videos like these. And so it was on a whim. I was like, let's do it. I had met some cool people at that October event that were like, hey, I'm in the collaborative, you should join. So I joined the collaborative. And I will say it was one of the best decisions that I have made as a business owner, as an investor, um, but also, or more importantly, just as a person, right? So I made that investment. It was around November, I believe, October, November. And then I actually was able to fly out in December to go to Anguilla with the collaborative group. Now that trip was amazing. First and foremost, like five star service across the board, amazing resort, amazing place. But also Lamar brought in a guest speaker, Ace Chapman, one of the best kind of like intellectual minds that I've ever been able to pick and sit down with. And he walked us through acquisitions and we just had so much fun, so much fun connecting with more people um, and just learning a ton, like real, real good knowledge. But the knowledge I've been able to, to gain um, in the mastermind, but especially in the collaborative uh, program that they have has surpassed all of my expectations and has really transformed me 
and my business and how I think about business, how I now see business and how I play the game of business. One of the best things about this, the traffic sales and profit uh, kind of like family and community is that partnership is at the forefront. So like I said, one of the uh, things that Lamar says all the time is like everything that we need is in this room. And he's so committed to continue to bring in more business owners into that room so that everybody can have what they need in the room to keep helping the black economy, to keep helping black folks and black communities level up in the ways that, that we need to. I'll also say, if you are a person that needs extreme accountability, that needs somebody like on your back for you to be able to take action, this might not be the program for you. There are different coaches, there are different accountability coaches, but at the end of the day, right, like joining a program like this with 200, 300 people, like you need to be able to get what you get. You need to be able to raise your hand and ask questions. You need to be able to go to the calls with Lamar and put up your hand and ask questions. And nobody's going to be on your back if you don't do those things. But now let's get into some of my more positive feedback about this community and really how it's helped me and my business, not only personally, but also financially. If you have more questions about this community or about Lamar, I will always give my honest and transparent feedback. Um, or if you have other kind of like mentorships or courses that you want me to review, I've probably invested in them. I've probably been a part of them. So leave me a comment on somebody else you would like me to review.